Well, I made it out here to Hoover Dam, iconic spot built in the 1930s during the Great Depression. And a good opportunity for a 49ers update. The 49ers have waived Dalen Hayes, the defensive lineman they picked up last week with an injury designation. They picked up Nate Brooks, a cornerback who was last in the USFL with the Birmingham Stallions and before that with the Tennessee Titans practice squad. That fills out the 90-man roster. So just depth, maybe developmental depth for the 49ers with Nate Brooks. Tomorrow, Trey Lance will start against the Raiders just about 40 minutes from here in Las Vegas. And Sam Darnold will likely get the whole second half. As far as expectations for both of these guys, well, I think it's more the same of, of what they've been asked to do at practice. Trey has to deliver the accuracy and he has to carry it over into a game. Guys can finally hit him for the first time, see if he can port that mechanical improvement that we have seen over the course of training camp that he initially developed with Jeff Christensen into actual gameplay. And Sam Darnold, keep on avoiding interceptions. Only one pick for Sam Darnold so far during this training camp. So he can now avoid those interceptions and get the play in quickly, really show his mastery of Kyle Shanahan's system in a game situation. Uh, he's going to impress the 49ers as well. Remember, QBs are currency, kind of like this dam. It's creating currency with the power, the hydroelectricity that, that happens at Hoover Dam. Well, anyway, QBs are like currency. The 49ers want all these guys to do well. So we're going to see Lance. We're going to see Darnold tomorrow. And the 49ers benefit if both of those guys do well. All right. See you guys on the other side.